Hello and welcome Capricorn. Welcome to your September 2023 general reading with myself, <coughs> Thomas Janak. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. Um, but my belief has always been that the people who find these videos or to find the, the channel um, will be able to take something out of it. Bottom line is always the same thing. You take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else, if that makes sense. Anyway, Capricorn. What we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of September 2023 before we then look into the um, your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, if there's healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff, before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September 2023 for your very sign of Capricorn. So, are you then, um, are you ready? Okay. So, I'm going to ask the guys to give me all that I need, um, that we need. Okay. It's all here. So, when it comes to the overall energy for the month of September, you have Venus. Beloved. So, what the guides are saying is, you are in a really, really good place in September. But the, the, the card here has the number 21, 2 and 1 and 3 is progress. You are loved, right? Please always understand that. And in September, it will become a bit more apparent for you, right? I should probably mention this, that I just, um, there is a video on this channel that has to do with Venus going direct um, again on September the 3rd. And I notice or mention in this Venus going direct video about how important Venus is um, this month. And since you have Venus as the overall energy, I really urge you, once you're done with this video, watch the video about um, the Venus going direct. Really, really important because it relates to your emotions quite a bit. The point is your overall energy is to understand that you are loved, claim love, but progress, which means progress away, go away, release what isn't working for you, which is why this video about uh, Venus going direct is so important because there are, there are literally dates, you know, and days in the month of September that will help you do just that. So please, 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 please watch that video, right? Okay, so that is this. That was all uh, the overall energy for the month of September. What do you want? It's just my insulin pump always beeps when I record a video. Don't know why. <laughs> when it comes to your emotional core, what the guides are saying to you is, and again, it is obviously so related to the fact that, that you, you should um, claim love, right? But the guides are saying to you, it is also important to cultivate love, to cultivate a feeling of, you know, do I just want love without doing anything? Or am I just the person that sort of gives love hoping that someone loves me back. So in order for you to embrace love that is clearly in the air for, for Capricorn in September, um, it feels like there's other things that preoccupy you a little. So you're not looking for, for new love, and this is the way I'm getting this, new beginnings coming in. All the guides are saying is, you know, um, reflect on not on the lack of love, but if there is something lacking, right? then say to yourself, you know what, I deserve so much better and go for it. Because in the energy here, um, which is sort of Taurus energy, which means like, you know, bit in your face here, uh, um, you know, look at stuff. But cultivate the energy of, this has to be, and it sounds a bit dry, this has to be an equal partnership. The universe has not said one word that is that that is not going to be an e not going to be an equal partnership, but it becomes apparent here that what your soul is looking for is something that is a bit more more even, right? And all the universe is saying it's right here. Just grab it, right? If that makes sense. And should you be in a relationship that you feel needs to be tweaked, um, then just be aware that that tweaking alone might not be enough unless there is equality that just goes through the relationship on a whole and doesn't feel forced, all right? So uh, lastly, we're going to look at your uh, opportunities. Authorities, uh, um, opportunities are not 
super numerous in the month of September for the sign of Capricorn, uh, Capricorn. But you have authority as a topic. So what the guides are saying is, rather than waiting for opportunities to come your way, you know, just things showing up, if that makes sense, be proactive, right? And don't sell yourself short. If you want to achieve some, something, be out there. What I'm getting here is, is to not have the best bloody CV that the world can get, right? You will, you will thrive much better in conversation, but don't sell yourself short. Don't just sit there and think that someone who offers you an opportunity, even when you're self-employed and someone says, oh, you know, you can work on my, on my Christmas fair, right? Well, very likely you pay for a bloody table, so you make that Christmas fair yours. You do the readings, if you do readings, um, the way you want them to, right? So, just, this just came in. Point is, this, this applies to people that are self-employed, and to people that are not. But there's not that many opportunities coming, apart from the, the ones that you go for, and with authority, you show and highlight by just being you what an asset you are to anybody's life, right? Okay, short and sweet for, for uh, Capricorn. That's all I got. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, and please, 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 you will do super well watching that video, right, about Venus going direct, right, okay, and how to harness the positivity that Venus is direct, right, please watch it because it will aid information that is helpful to your month because Venus is the overall energy for your very sign, so hey, how awesome is this, okie dokie, see you next time, bye bye.